purposes, the gentlelady from California seek recognition. Madam Speaker, pursuant to Clause 2A1 of Rule 9, I rise to give notice of my intention to raise a question of the privileges of the House. The form of the resolution is as follows, House Resolution 846, censuring Representative Brian Mast. Under Rule 9, a resolution... So Whereas recognized. Representative Brian Mast served honorably in the United States Army with distinct sacrifice, dedication, and bravery. Whereas Representative Brian Mast has repeatedly made inflammatory statements regarding innocent Palestinian civilians in Gaza who are in harm's way through no fault of their own as a result of horrific terrorist attacks conducted by Hamas on October 7, 2023. Whereas Representative Brian Mast's refusal to distinguish innocent Palestinians from Hamas terrorists is false, misleading, dehumanizing, dangerous, and unbecoming of a member of Congress. Whereas on October 19, 2023, during a House Foreign Affairs Committee markup, Representative Brian Mast emphatically inserted, asserted that any urgently needed humanitarian aid for innocent Palestinian civilians who are in harm's way through no fault of their own should, quote, be slowed down, and that there should be, quote, every effort to made to slow down any perceived assistance. Whereas on October 19, 2023, during the same House Foreign Affairs Committee markup, Representative Brian Mast stated that terrorism is, and I quote, absolutely supported by the Palestinian people from elementary school all the way up into the elderly. Whereas on November 1st, 2023, during a speech on the House floor, Representative Brian Mast inexcusably. Ben, the House will be in order. The gentlewoman is recognized. Whereas on November 1st, 2023, during a speech on the House floor, Representative Brian Mast inexcusably compared innocent Palestinian civilians, including children, who are often used as human shields by Hamas terrorists to Nazi collaborators that perpetrated the Holocaust against the Jewish people. Whereas the horrific crime against humanity perpetrated by Nazis that resulted in the murder of more than six million Jews during the Holocaust should never be trivialized. Whereas on November 1st, 2023, during a speech on the House floor, Representative Ma Brian Mass stated that, quote, there are very few innocent Palestinian civilians. Whereas on November 2nd, 2023, Representative Brian Mast again incorrectly conflated innocent Palestinian civilians with Hamas terrorists by tweeting a video of, Ham of a Hamas leader and asserting that, I quote again, a two-state solution means making a state out of these murderous terrorists who are openly calling for the atrocities of October 7th to be committed over and over again. Whereas Representative Brian Mast's repeated conflation of innocent Palestinian civilians with Hamas terrorists sends a message to the world that violence against all Palestinians is legitimate and risks the incitement of brutal attacks across the Middle East region, including settler violence in the West Bank and Hezbollah aggression in northern Israel. Whereas instances of anti-Arab hate and Islamophobia have been on the rise, including the hate-fueled murder of Wadia El Fayoumi, a six-year-old Palestinian American who was stabbed to death in his home in Illinois on October 15th, 2023 because of his identity. And whereas Representative Brian Mast's comments regarding innocent Palestinian civilians in Gaza are dehumanizing, inflammatory, unacceptable, and can be reasonably construed as inviting the targeted murder of innocent Palestinians, fanning the flames of violence in the Middle East and violating the international rules of war. Now therefore, be it resolved that Brian Mast be censured. Under Rule 9, a resolution offered from the floor by a member other than the majority leader of, or the minority leader as a question of the privileges of the House has immediate precedence only at a time designated by the chair within two legislative days after the resolution is properly noticed. Pending that designation, the form of resolution noticed by the gentlewoman from California will appear in the record at this point. The chair will not at this point determine whether the resolution constitutes a question of privilege. That determination will be made at the time designated for consideration of the resolution. Proceedings